y equals 0. As long as the equation starts with y equals, we can do that, but I think it might be confusing for you. But, nope, I don't see similar answer. So we're going to do this. All right, I'm going back to y equals, and I'm going to hit clear. Now, I'm going to do something else sneaky first, because it'll be hard. I know what this looks like already, and I know it'll be hard for you to see if I don't do something to make the line more visible. So I've just gone two places to the left, and my goal is going to be to find a darker line. So I hit enter. Oh, that's nice and thick. Let's try that. Okay. Now, come back here with your right arrow key. Boom, boom. And we're going to type y equals 0. Notice there are no x's. Now, if I graph it, this is what it looks like. It is the x-axis. It just so happens that everything, every line, even the axes themselves, have equations. And the equation of the x-axis is y equals 0, which is why I wanted it to be darker so that you could tell that, well, this is a little darker than that. All right, so this is what we're going to be graphing. Now, if you want two points, go second graph. Notice that all of the y coordinates are 0 because y equals 0 and x can be any number you want it to be. So why don't I choose the first point, negative 1, 0, and then I'll choose, how about 4, 0. Okay. There. Here. All right, first one is negative 1, 0. Negative 1, 0 is right there on the x-axis. And 4, 0 is there on the x-axis. Our line is graphed. Hit Save. There it is. Now we're going to check our answer. And we're going to be told, well done. 